Hey YouTube, it's Brooks and Keep Manny here today with a review on a Deadpool comic actually, and it's gonna be really freaking good. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good review. I really like this comic a lot. Um, this is uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and it's just, it's volume three of the Deadpool like trade book series, I think. And uh, yeah, it was it was a really good comic. As you can see, the cover has Wolverine and Captain America on it. I'm just read what this uh, newsarama said. Think of an extended Mad Magazine gag targeted squarely at comics lore, and you've got this comic in a nutshell. Quite the surprising, satisfi satisfying read. Flip it over. It says the Merc with the mouth is in good hands. There's somewhat twisted hands, but good hands nonetheless. And that was from Comic Vine. So yeah, I really like this uh, comic book. Actually, here's the back. I'm gonna list. I'm gonna tell you guys the the comics it has in it. it. Has Deadpool issue 13, issue 14, issue 15, issue 16, issue 17, issue 18, and issue 19. Um, like the last five are. Sorry, Brooks is on Skype, so it might seem a little loud, but the last five issues of this were part of the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly series, and I I finished it up. Uh, I started reading this yesterday, just finished it today. Yeah. This is really good. I got hooked on this, like, hardcore, so I'm trying to get more Deadpool comics in the future. Um, I'll just show you, like, I'll show you the first... Okay, so for the first one, here's the cover right there, but, like, they took an old comic book of Deadpool from 1977, and, like, they pasted it in this book. Like, as you can see, like, it may look older... In a way, I don't think you guys can notice, but it's generally, as you can see, like, there's dot colors. Like, the colors have, like, dots in the background. Like, it's hard for you guys to see, as I said, but this is actually an old book that they copied of Deadpool and put in here. And even the coloring behind the pages, like, look like an old comic book color. And then once you read that old um, comic book... They decided to go off of that with a newer comic, and so they went off of that. Um, here's the cover for that. Um, this the first one involves a guy, a, a villain called White Man, the White Man or whatever, and then it goes off of that. White Man was a pimp, and there there he is. And then you know, as you can see, it's shooting into newer day. So you finish that one up. Has a crazy as one, and then let me tell you. And then it goes into the good, the bad, and the ugly part one. So basically, the good and the bad and the ugly part one, I don't know how I'm going to explain this because it's kind of hard. But I'll try, I'll try my, I'll try my uh, hardest to explain this. Um, basically, Deadpool, a while back, um, he was like, he was, I won't, I don't want to, he was like, the reason why he can regenerate is he was part of a scientific, like, experiment. Like, his creator slash the one who started experimenting on him made him so he could regenerate. And then they decided to let him go free into the world. But now, like, they're following him around and they're wanting, they want to kidnap him now. And um, a scientist is going to try to, like, extract his powers of regeneration from him and, like, give it to a bunch of Korean soldiers because the scientist is working for the North Korean army. He's also trying to um, heal his sister's cancer because Deadpool once had cancer, apparently, and got healed from it. And so, like, they're after Deadpool and uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly part one. And basically, throughout the whole good and the bad, the ugly series, um, from part one to five, Deadpool gets kidnapped, and then he um, he becomes a project, but he escapes, and he um, finds that they also kidnapped Wolverine and Captain America, so they do a big escape to get out, as well as some other, like, test people there that had superpowers that were being... Uh, like use for projects so like they basically break out and uh the the scientists also stole all the superheroes family members and stuff and a lot of them get killed off including um deadpool's daughter it's apparently deadpool had a daughter named uh i forgot her name maybe i can find it in the back it's uh i'm really sorry but uh Let's see. I'll find it for you guys. Uh, 
Eleanor. His daughter is named Eleanor. Um, from this really old comic they put in the front, he hooked up with a chick named uh, Camerlita, or I think I said that wrong, Camerlita. I already forgot her name. But from this old one, he hooked up with the chick, and apparently um, he had a daughter, and that scientist took the chick he hooked up with and um, his daughter, and they get killed off, and now Deadpool wants revenge, and it's, it's a mixture of stuff. I know it probably sucked at explaining this, but yeah, that's basically, like, lots of storylines. I thought this was a really well-put-together book, like, one story just combined after the next. It was very good. I love the stories that got hooked by, by the first page. I fell in love with this. Um, I'm definitely now going to buy more Deadpool comics. This is the only one I own. So I'm definitely into Deadpool now. And I think he's just an awesome superhero and or villain. He's in between, you know, like he doesn't play by no rules. But uh, yeah, I thought this was really cool. And I'm glad to have this part of my collection. Um, you know, I never really got into these like book books where there's like all these comics in one big thick book. Except for maybe The Simpsons. But ever since I've been getting these, I've actually really enjoyed them. Uh, just like the Batman Adventures I did a review on. Uh, yeah, this is right up there with the Batman Adventures. This is really good. i probably rate a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, just because, like, I don't know, some parts of it were confusing. That's the only, like, reason I docked a point. But it was really good. That's my review. I highly recommend it, and I hope you guys like this. Um, this didn't cost much, it was fifteen ninety nine. I mean, yeah, that's my, a lot for a comic, but, you know, it's worth it. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out my homie Brooks' videos, and have a good day. Bye.